Alright, this is a quick review on the Dragon Zord. And it uh, came out a long time ago, but this has got to be like one of my favorite figures of them all right here. This is the best one. This is what I always wanted, and I found it on eBay. I got it on sale for $56 because the uh, Green Ranger was missing his uh, his gun, and he was missing his shoulder pad, which I can find out later on eBay somehow, and the gun too. I think I saw them for $5. But um, yeah, this is a Dragon Zord. This is the best one to me. I just loved how it looked, and before I went to do the review, I was playing with the tail, and I thought I broke it. I didn't know it could do that that blew my mind something so small did but uh yeah I love it thing is awesome and also I have the box that it came in people didn't wanna I think that many people didn't bid on it just cause the box had a few little you know like uh little cuts and stuff on it parts where it had been torn but this box is pretty awesome this is what I loved about the 90's like they actually had it where whenever you bought something it came in like this huge like thick box like you know talks about them on the side and on the back it showed about you would combine all them which don't worry I have all the pieces I'll put up a video where I actually combine them all because I have Titanus and the Megazord and Ultras to make Ultrazord so and this is the main piece but uh, the actual Dragon Zord is awesome let me talk about this for one minute this came with it you know that holds up his uh as part of the weapon system for him and uh it's part of the weapon system for him so then in the background the green ranger right quick you know it's a pretty nice figure i didn't know that uh, i forgot that back they did actually make it where these hands were movable like kind of cool how these hands move and his hand moves and it's stiff so it could perfectly like grasp the gun which is kind of awesome and uh I just think that's pretty cool. I really want the little shoulder thing now on it. I have to find that. Help me find it, people on YouTubers, if you know anybody. But uh, other than eBay. <laughs> also, if you cut it on, it makes this sound. I remember how to flick it. Yep, there we go. Yep. And when he used to flick that, he used to flick that, he used to be like, camera would zoom in on his tail whoosh, then it would hit you which is pretty awesome but uh yeah it's awesome this thing uh it doesn't move that much doesn't have that much you know movement in it it can bend his legs which is kind of cool and his arms uh they're really small they fold in and out they can go in whenever he transforms and they stay there and you know the actual face when he transforms is underneath there and we all know it can do so many more things and uh when you take the tail off then it completely comes undone. I thought I broke it, but trying to give you just to show you, I'm going to actually do the full thing where it completely comes off later on, but whenever I actually use all of them to make the Ultra Zord, but for right now, I'll just show that. Yeah, but this is a, this is a classic right here. This is a thing of beauty. I like Godzilla, but I actually like this look. I think looks, this looks better than any type of interpretations whatever they tried to do kind of would have been awesome i know this is about to get my nerd on it but if they would have had one like this in pacific realm i would have peed my pants but uh yeah that's the dragon zord he is awesome uh the stickers the stickers aren't that bad um a lot of people always talk about how they put the you know the thunder little stickers and they don't like them they're not that bad to me uh this tail isn't that bad more stickers or more of something on there might would have been cool and it would have been nice um, they also have them for whenever he transforms on the bottom of his foot too which is a little crazy but it's on the bottom of his foot too for the transformation stickers they're on the side uh, they're pretty much everywhere and that thing is shiny I gotta give big ups to the guy I bought this from he kept this baby up thank you goodness he kept it up for me but I love my dragon zord and this is like a view of it from the back. Let me zoom out. You can actually see it. But yeah, that's my baby there. This is it. Well, it's, it looks kind of plain from the back. Stick his tail in. He can transform. We have the lights. And don't worry, it's more videos because this baby will be used when we show him combining to make the Megazord. To make the Megazord. But they, yeah. Well, it's just a little taller. Well, you know what? I think I messed up. That's not the Megazord. 
that's the newer one. What I was talking about is this big old baby right here. I'm going to show y'all how we combine them all to make that in another video. But for right now, I'm signing off for you, and this is a review on the Dragon Zord. Any questions or things I might for did not answer, let me know. But uh, I think it's pretty cool. It's sturdy. It's awesome. And if you ever get a chance to get one, you know, want to relive some thoughts on your childhood, this will help you out. It's awesome. Goodbye.